today's topic is polyalphabetic cipher. So this is one of the uh, another technique of substitution cipher. Okay, so this is best known and one of the simplest algorithm, which is also called as another name of the uh, this algorithm is called Wigner the Wigner cipher. Okay. Now, for more understanding, in this we use a matrix, uh, matrix, and that matrix is called as Wigner table or we can say Wigner tableau. Okay. So first of all, we will discuss that how this Wigner tableau is constructed, and later on we will take an example and construct the cipher text according to this polyalphabetic cipher. So the Wigner tableau look like this in which we take 26 alphabets from A to Z okay and to construct this table we take a one bit left shift to the on the left hand side suppose the first letter starts from A here the next letter starts from B then we again uh, this B, letter B will be shift to the left hand side and in the next row it will start from C. So we have to take a 26 letters from the on the left and in the rows as well as in the column. Now on the on the left hand side this represents your key means from A to Z this side represents your key and from the top side represent the plain text. So this is your plain text okay. Now to construct with the help of this key as well as the plain text how we how we will construct the cipher text. So for constructing the cipher text we take the intersection of the row that is key and the plain and the column that is your plain text. Suppose if we have a key called as uh, suppose M and I am taking the plain text as uh, suppose I am taking D here. Now what is the cipher text? So if the key is M so this means the this is M here and for the plain text is D. The plain text is D. Now we take the intersection point of these rows and columns. So the intersection point of this uh, D and M is P here. So therefore that cipher text will be P. So this is how we use Tableau to construct the cipher text for a given plain text. Now the most important thing in this that to construct the cipher text the, for, the main important rule is that the size of the key or we can say the length of the key is also should be equal to the size of the message size of the message. Message means the plain text. Okay. Suppose in case if the length of the key is not equal to the length of the message then we have to repeat the keyword as long as the message size. Suppose if I am taking a key as interception I N T E R C E P T I O N. This is T here so, uh, guys. Okay. And what is the plain text here? If suppose if I am taking a plain text as got placement in final year. So I am writing here G O T P L A C E M E N T got placement in final year. Final year. So here the key the size of the key is 12 and the size of the plain text is 23. So I have to repeat this keyword as long as the message size. So this means I is related to G, N is related to O, T is related to T, E is related to P, R to L, C to A, E to C similarly like this. I to E, O with this, N with this. So for the I, N, I, F, I, N, L, A, Y, E, A, R. So I have to repeat this keyword in the same manner. So I, N, T, E, R. C E P T I O. So I N E is related to F, E is related to I, R is related to N, C is related to A, E is related to L, P is related to Y, T is related to E, I is related to A, and O is related to R. So this is how first the rule is that the length of the key should be same to the length of the plain text. So in order to uh, in order to keep the size same, we have to repeat the keyword. Now, so for constructing the cipher text, if the key is i and the uh, plain text is g, so according to the tableau, see here, according to the tableau, if the key is i, okay, 
and the plane text is G. Okay. So, we take the intersection. So, the intersection point will be O here. So, therefore, the cipher text will be cipher text will be for this that is O. So, in the, in, the, uh, in the similar manner, the next key is N and the plain text is O. Now, check it out. N, O, N and O. So, for the key is, keyword is, see here, keyword is N, okay. And the keyword is N and the plain text is O here. This is O. So, after getting the intersection point, I am getting, see, this is O. This is, if I am getting this O and N is a keyword, then I am getting B here. This means the cipher text will be B here. So, in the similar manner, we keep on constructing the cipher text and the cipher text will be uh, look like this that O, B, M, T, C, C, uh, then we have G, T, F, M, B, G, uh, this is M here guys, okay, this is M, uh, B, G, Q, A, Y, M, E, C, P, N, X, I and F. So, this is the cipher text according to this key and according to this plain text and with the help of a Wignier tableau in the polyalphabetic cipher. So, if you have any query, then you can ask in our comment section. So, keep watching our video. Thank you so much.